Hi, I've decided to do a series of vlogs about how I uh, grew up, where I grew up, and what it was like during the time that I grew up. I grew up in a little town called Harvey, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. When I was about almost five years old, maybe uh, just a little bit before I was five, my family moved to a street in Harvey called Polina. And across the street from my house, a little boy lived across the street. And my mother used to say, why don't you go over and play with that little boy? Well, I, best I can remember, I would stand on my side of the street on the curb, and he would stand, stand on his side of the street on the curb, and we would look at each other for a while. Pretty soon, I finally made it across the street and met him. And we're still friends today. That was about 68 years ago. And we're still friends to this day, although his family lives, still lives in Chicago. Um, his wife and kids and grandkids, and I live in St. Louis. But I, we can still pick up the phone and start talking just like we'd been together the day before. But anyway, we experienced a unique childhood that I think you might be interested in. It's kind of, uh, if you wanted an outline, you could take the movie Christmas Story the movie Stand By Me, and the movie American Graffiti. Those would be the closest thing to an outline of what our childhood was like. But I'd like to tell you about it. Now my friend's name is Ted. And Ted and I became best friends right off the bat. I wanted to do a little diagram of the street that uh, I grew up on. This is Polina Street. It went out to 154th Street, and 154th Street went into town. All of the houses had an alley behind them, just like this. And there was also an alley down at the end of the street. And that becomes important later in the story. Uh, this is my house right here, and this was Ted's house right here. Over here on the end was our friend Joe's house. Down this way was Terry's house. And over here, down here, was Bobby's house, Bobby V. And he didn't stay in the neighborhood very long. Uh, he moved away when we were quite young. But over here, there's an empty lot, which becomes its own story later. There's a lot here that has a story. And there's a big, in front of this house here, if you can just see that house. Move this a little bit. There's a house right here with a big yard. We played in this yard quite a bit. Right next door to Ted's house was Mr. and Mrs. Goebel's house. And there's a story there also. Mrs. Claus lived next door to me, and she has a story that I'll tell, too. Now, Ted's brother was quite a bit older. In fact, he had actually fought in World War II. So, uh, about a year after uh, Ted and I kind of met, uh, his brother moved, got married and, and moved away, uh, so it left Ted as pretty much an only child. And I was an only child. So that cemented our relationship even more, and actually we became like brothers. Now if you noticed on the little diagram, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Goble lived right next door to Ted. And uh, the blocks uh, in the town, all had, we all had sidewalks, and Ted and I mostly played on the sidewalk. Um, so one day, I don't know how old we were, um, but we were playing ball in front of uh, Ted's house and in front of Mr. and Mrs. Goble's house. And sure enough, the ball went over on Mr. Goble's lawn. So one of us hopped over there and grabbed the ball. Well, 
Mr. Goble came flying out of the house, screaming at the top of his lungs for us to get off his lawn. We were ruining his lawn, and he didn't want us on his lawn ever again, and just screaming and hollering. Uh, that turned out to be Mr. Goble's downfall. If he had just come out and said, hey boys, I'm trying to grow some grass here. Um, I'll show you where I'm working, if you can stay out of that area. Uh, if the ball comes over, kind of take it easy when you go get it. But he didn't do that. He hollered and screamed and yelled at us like we were, uh, you know, two little kids, which we were. But that turned out to be Mr. and Mrs. Goebel's nightmare because it became our mission to make it their nightmare. And that's what we did from that point on, any chance we had. We harassed and did whatever we could to make their life miserable. Uh, not that I'm that proud of it, but it happened, we did it, and it was one of those things that kids do. So anyway, this is just the start to uh, my vlog about uh, these kinds of things, what we did when we were kids. I hope you'll find it interesting. I hope you'll join me for the next episode, and thanks for watching.